episode 19 of Wool is the Answer. I'm Marie. I'm Dominique. Nice to see you again. Um, you can find us on the usual um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Ravelry, YouTube. <laughs> again, that. we're there. We're looking all cowled up today. Yes. Do you like them? We just, um, it's our new. If you've not seen, yeah, we've cow launched sets. the. The pattern the, and the kits. The pattern was done by Wendy of um, Crochet Creations. Creations. Yes. Um, so I'm wearing the um, cream version. The one that the I pink. crocheted. And the I've got Dominic made. the one that I really yeah. like. The grey one with all the beautiful so colours. So we've, we've called this the walled cowl. We were trying to think of something original. We were trying to think yeah. of something to do with Wendy's nair. Yes. To do with Peter Pan. Yeah, we failed miserably. But we come to you from Lincolnshire. Exactly. In the UK. So we thought we'd take inspiration from our surroundings. They're lovely and lovely. And if oh. you can see the stitch. All right, let's You're gonna... look. Let, I mean, close up, not good. Not a good look, is it? You can it see is. it looks like a knit stitch, but it's it crochet. Is beautiful. Clever. Um, and there's a, some of you have already seen, but there's a little bit of a how to. Oh yes, um, very professionally done by Dominique. Video, yeah. yeah. Um, just it's a it is a really simple cowl, but there's just so there's just one stitch that is slightly unusual. So if you struggle, there's pictures and there's a nice video. So so it's um it's a nice size because sometimes you just want one that's just like nice and snug here and not too much waist. It's yes. a really it's a really good size. It is. So um, you can add, you can join in on the on the crochet along as well that we've got we running on to say hello. that we've got that we've got running on Ravelry. So, yes. So you don't need to buy the kit. No. Nope. Need to buy the pattern, um, which is four pound. Um, if you want the kit for either Dominique's or mine, they're you both can. on the website. Um, and we have got other double knit. But yeah, we double got, knit. We haven't got the minis on there. So if there's colours you desperately want. Just messages. We can always dye some. Yes, we can. But at the minute, we've just started with these two kits. Talking of dyeing some, honestly, if you'd seen us yesterday, we were like, two we were like children. Giddy our children. Workshop, our workshop. Well, we had the most exciting day, which we'll cover oh, completely. Yes. 13th of February was a good day for yes, us, it? really was. So, yes, the workshop arrived. The two little men turned up, didn't they? They were brilliant. In fact, I have, Marie said, do you need anything? I said, go and call them, call for some biscuits because they're nice men. Um, uh, I mean, we've had Storm Kira come through the UK and then we've got Storm... To be fair, we've been lucky. I mean, yeah. In Lincolnshire, we've where we Storm, live, we've been... Storm Dennis is coming later this week. I call him Desmond. Although, again, looking at our area, I think Lincolnshire... But we have had it. Horrible. Oh. We've not had anything like the rest of the country, no. but it's been horrible. And I woke up at four o'clock yesterday morning and it was torrential rain. Well, other than it being muddy for them, the sun was out, they the wind had on. dropped. Oh, there were so curtain sectional buildings, that's where it you was are. from. Yes. We can't recommend you highly enough. So, so it's it's brilliant. So it's all it's all up, it's all pressure treated, so we don't need to do anything to it. Um, it's all we've we got inside when they Oh it was really toasty, wasn't it? We got inside, it was shut the door. No lighting in there yet. Beautiful natural lighting. So this weekend, um, Mr Hammond's going to be busy getting the water. He's already put the cables and yeah. everything in, so he'll be connecting it and getting it all ready. Putting so all we'll the worktops Running and water in. and electric. So we've, we were literally like, oh, quick, take a photo. So if you've looked on our social media pages, you'll yes. see that we've got a few photos from it arriving to being built. Yes. Um, Four hours it took them. Yeah, not long. I mean, amazing. Four I hours. Brilliant. Yeah, really good. Yeah. So, so we we'll, will be by March. We'll be in there dying, won't yeah. we? Probably, Hopefully, po possibly sooner. If Mr. Ham does his way, well, we'll be in there next week. So, um, on, my dad, we did maybe. do some dying the other day. So we've topped everything up. Yes. Because um, we were dying for these. Yes. The but we've really not had the opportunity to do a great deal. So. Give us a couple of weeks and we will be yeah. we'll be back at it. Because we've been busy knitting, but I can't keep me. Can't, well, I'm just. I can't. I can't no, but no. Let's things. just say because we've just, just been dying. Yes. So um, we've got <laughs> back in the fourth line. Navy fours back in. So the shore packs are back in. Shore packs. Twelve days in. of Christmas drops. drops in the ocean. That's it. Yeah. 
back in. So just Navy, before we forget. Navy and Coral Reef are one of our ones that just as soon as we put it on. Yeah. So we did them the other and day. Somebody, somebody, as, and I always say this, don't I, when I say somebody, I don't mean Dominique, I take full responsibility for it. Somebody dyed the wrong colour navy. Didn't dye it dark enough. So we had navy. I just had to do it again. Yeah. But we've just finished winding it before with my ear. That's where I put it down. So Menopause brain, that's where it is. I don't know what I can blame mine on then. Working with me. <laughs> it's enough to send anyone you do, Lally. I mean, anywhere near me. Honestly. <laughs> this haven't had any real meltdowns this week, have I? No. Well, I didn't sleep particularly well last night. But I think that was, we went out for a friend's we birthday. I'd probably eaten. You weren't drinking at all, but no. we were all giggling like. I ate too we were, late. If I eat we too were, late. It was late. And it was rich. Yeah, it was nice food. I'm not sure it helped finishing it off with greasy churros. Not greasy, they were, but you know what I mean? Fried. Yeah, deep fried churros. They were tasty, mm, but it was very nice, yes. So that was where we were at last night, tequilas in Lincoln. Yeah. It was really nice. Very quiet though. It, but yeah. But the food was excellent. The staff were good. <clears throat> the music was hilarious. They were laughing at us because it was all really like loud. Um, I mean, it was obviously like Mexican, Spanish. It was more Spanish than that. It was like. Well, it was what I would... Modern ex- day Spanish, wasn't it? It was quite a bit... <coughs> it's what I would <coughs> expect to see. Not in a restaurant. NCIS Los Angeles. No. It was very loud. Yeah. But they were just giggling at us. Yeah. Because we were like... Do, do. And then they, they kept shuffling the music. So we were just like... And then they would change the but, song. You know, we'd get some Gloria Estefan and then... Exactly. When we were listening to the Gloria Estefan, we were quite happy. And then the Justin Bieber... Whatever. Despacito or yeah, whatever. Yeah, Despacito. Okay. We were all ready to start and they changed it. So I think they thought we were going to start singing, which. But a friend, one of the girls in the party, it was her birthday. So someone, one of them had 50. Brought, 50. Paul um, joined the 50. Well, that's 20, club. 30, 40, 50. Yeah. Um, so Joe had bought her a balloon. So they obviously realised it was her birthday and came across and said, Whose birthday is it? So when the Choros came out, they'd had a candle. Candle and he sang. I mean, bless him, he started singing. The way to start singing yeah. Happy Birthday, we were the only ones in the restaurant. Yeah. It was lovely. We had a nice time. Yeah. So maybe that's why it was... Well, it's a good job there weren't anybody because we were probably giggling so loud that yeah. Yeah, we would have driven them out. Yeah. We might have been told off, mightn't we? I mean, not all of us can see without our glasses. I think some of us were deaf last night because of the words that we kept thinking others were saying. Exactly. Paddling down the whatever we thought was something yes. completely different. Yes, we did. But anyway. Yeah. And so, Paula's got a very infectious laugh, hasn't yeah, she, when she, she starts going. So that sets us off. I thought I was going to wet myself at one yeah. point. Yeah. But so we had we had a very good day. And that just, I think that's, maybe you've just got too overexcited yesterday. And that's why you didn't, <laughs> you didn't <laughs> sleep well. Oh, I well. After 9 o'clock at night, you were a little bit excited. But yes. anyway, what else were you going to say? Well, before any, we get on to our knitting. Has anything else been happening? Those of you that subscribe to our newsletter will already know because yes. we promised we would release it by the newsletter Let first. Let me glasses because they're not on properly. They haven't seen them. Um, so, and we know some of you got that um well, newsletter we, yesterday because you were busy clicking some of you have already responded yes our retreat went live, live yesterday so we can talk about it now um so so it is going to be on the starting on february uh, february friday even let me get me teeth in yeah. friday the 11th of september this year this year till the monday the 14th so it's a one week, weekend, yeah, and it will be based at um, Hemswell Court, which is very local to us, um, in the heart of Lincolnshire. So it's about ten miles, is it, from Lincoln? Yeah, about ten miles from Lincoln. Uh, yes, yeah. eight miles from Gainsborough. Yep, yeah. ish. Um, and it's a beautiful location. It's the old RAF mess. Yeah, um, and it, it's or, or the surrounding. Stunning. Yeah, it's it five is. star. Um, it's used a lot for wedding venues. Yeah, weddings, conferences. It's beautiful. So we've got use of exclusivity of quite a lot of the rooms, <clears throat> which are all... All of the accommodation. Yes. So we will all be the, the only ones yes. there. So there are 25 rooms. Yeah. Um, so if you go on our website, we've got a retreat page. So if you click on the retreat page, all the information is there. Yes. There's photographs. Um, so your weekend, uh, we asked people what they p- would prefer. People have said the majority that yep. 
they just want just to want relax. To, yeah. So we haven't got any formal workshops. But that's because we've listened to what everyone yeah. said. So however we have got a we're going to have one of the rooms is a really beautiful like Georgian um um like big dining room with big yes, huge is. windows in the yes. lights amazing. So we're gonna run in there free crafts. Yeah. So there'll be tables set up with lots of different things. So, you know, we were just talking about it. We're not sure exactly, but there'll be little things to make for you to take home. Yeah. That'll all be free. Um but apart from that it's just But it will be calm and relax. There's a um the drawing room, it's just got the biggest fireplace. I mean, it's September, so I don't yeah. know whether... Oh, the fire I mean, it's on. just... Yeah, I would hope the fire will It's be. just beautiful. Um, so, it's, um, so should we do a bit of an itinerary of what yeah. happens? Yeah. So you'll arrive bar, uh, from 3 o'clock on the Friday. On the Friday. Um, and there will be a plentiful supply of tea, coffee, soft um, juice and cakes and biscuits. Yes. Yeah. Homemade, obviously. We'll all get assigned your rooms and then we'll have a bit of a um, sit down and then yeah. we've got because that time because we everybody's going to be arriving at different times we're going to have a hot and cold buffet um on the friday night yes. just to accommodate everybody but don't think soggy sandwiches and crisps oh no this will be it will be yes beautiful lincolnshire produced food yes they're renowned for their um locally sourced ingredients yeah um, so the team up there, the food is really, really yeah, good. it really is. So that will be provided. Then the next morning, um, there'll be a full cup breakfast. Um, and then... And, and then it's as you, whatever you want whatever to do. Whatever you want to do. So again, through the day, tea, coffee, juice, cakes, cakes plentiful biscuits. supply, cakes, bakes, all day. You yeah. Can, that, that's available. All weekend. All weekend. And um, there's also a bar that's open. Um, and so if you wanted to purchase... Um, any other drinks you can you, you can but the tea coffee and juice is all yeah. all included um and then um the only things that we're going to have set we'll have to set a lunch time um so we'll have a lunch time which will be a a hot meal again yeah so we're not sure what we're going to have so it'll be um something like soup and and yeah sandwiches i or... mean he'd be, when we've been trying to sort this out and obviously get it um, off the ground, he's kind of said, well, it will be something similar to it. Yes. And he said soup and Lincolnshire sausage sandwiches yeah. or jacket, jacket potato. Obviously, we need dietary requirements. That's yes. going to play a big, important role. But that's the kind um, of thing you're looking yeah. at. Yeah. And then um, the evening meal will be a three-course, yeah. um, you know, a nice, a nice yeah. meal. And if you have a look, you'll see the dining room that we're using. So it's properly set up. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Yes. Beautiful um, place. But don't put that off. Don't make you feel that it's going to be kind of formal and stuffy. It's not at all. The, you know, the sofas that the, they're there to relax yeah. in. and Stay in pyjamas all weekend. Absolutely. Yeah. It is. It's just going to be beautiful food. But don't feel that means we have to get dressed up or anything. Oh, because no. if you want to, fine. If you want to stay in your pajamas all day, the, the whole place is ours. So to your you weekend, can wander around to your heart's content. So the same same thing will happen on the um, Sunday, Sunday, and then check out on the after breakfast, cook breakfast again yeah. on the Monday morning. Yeah. Um, but we're also going to have our pop up shop yes. there, so all our stock will be there. Um, and Sarah from number four, the wool shop in Lincoln. Which actually, when we released it yesterday, we didn't know, but we've yep. spoken to her now. She's going to do a pop-up shop as well. Yes. So she'll have things there like... Um, she'll have your needles, needles your hooks, hooks um, notions, yes. um, gift uh, bags and things, and, and some, some wool. I mean, at the minute, it's September, so she might change, yeah. but she's stuck some of the stationary geek stuff. Yes, and, so, so we'll um, probably have some of that there. Some really nice tote There's all sorts of things. So the shop will be available all weekend. Yes. Again. Um, obviously, within time limits. Yes. You know, we can't expect somebody to sit there all day. No. But that'll be in the Primrose Room where the... Um, Crafting, yes, will be going on. Um, so we're so excited, oh, we, but we were so pleased because we literally put it out to subscribers first, which we promised to do. Um, and we were literally just like sat doing some admin, and it was pinging straight away. So we've got rooms booked straight away, which is amazing. So there are twenty five rooms, yes, but people are booking Ex already. So do you want to explain about the rooms and how it looks on the prices? It might be a bit confusing to people. Well, I don't think it is, but. We'll explain just in a yeah. uh, If people, yeah, it, it shouldn't. But you're going to have your choice of single occupancy in a double room yeah. if you want to come by yourself. 
Um, and that's obviously the price of the room. They're all en suite. Everything's en suite. Look at the photos. Toiletries, slippers, bathrobes. Yeah, all complimentary. Television in your room. Complimentary tea and coffee in your room. You will get water. a water. You will get a Yarny goodie bag. Oh yes, we'll for the you, weekend. Yes, as the well. Yarny goodie bag. But um, yeah, the standard of the bedrooms is is really nice. So yeah, if you want to come by yourself, you'll have a double room. Um, uh, the only choice you're going to have to make is do you want to be on the first or the ground floor? Yes. Now we need to say it says all over the website there is no lift. Yes. So. They do have a um, disabled facility, so if anybody does have any disability needs, contact us and we can put you in the right room. Yes. But you'd need to book a ground floor room. Yes. But if there's any doubts, just email us yeah. and we can we can sort it all, you know, we can sort any um, issues that you feel you may have. But you need to choose whether you want ground floor or first floor, and some have just got showers and some have got baths and showers. And the first floor is reached by um, 12 stairs, big staircases, aren't yes. they? Yes. 12 stairs, a little bit of a landing. 12 stairs yes um so it's not they're not flights of no. stairs um so yeah Go so on. they're so they're your, your choices so if you want to come with a friend then we've got twin rooms yes and they're the same ground floor first floor yes shower bath and shower yeah. um there are the Two family rooms. There's also a Jack and Jill room. Yes. So the Jack and Jill room is a double bedroom. Yes. Separate. A bathroom in the middle with the door access from the double room. Yeah. And then on another door through the bathroom access to a um, single room. Yes. So again, if you if you sh two people sharing, but you can only book that together. So you're yes. not going to share a bathroom with, with someone you don't, you don't know. know. So literally. All the all the twin um, occupancy rooms yes. are. You can't book a twin room on your own for us to put somewhere else, put in, somebody there. else in there because yeah. we don't think that that's fair. Yeah. So um, you can come and so when you look at the prices on the website, the prices for the twin room are for two people. It's for the room. For the room. Yes. For the two people. So sharing. one of you will book. So that's why you might look and think, well, why are some of them a lot more expensive? It's because it's for two, two. You've got to book at the time for two people. Or there's triple rooms for yes. three people. And the triple rooms are so think if it's it's a family. So there's a double yes. bed in one room. There's a twin beds in another room. But to get to the bathroom, the twin bedded people have to walk through the um, double. double bedroom into yes. the into the big bathroom. Yeah. So again, that's you know if there's three of you that you know good friends or whatever. Um, so they are. Th but <laughs> again, if you've got any. You're not sure, or you know, you, you want to come as a as a a couple and, yep. and share a double bed. Yeah, you know, we haven't put those prices on because you know we're not sure what people want. Because we think there's plenty of rooms at the minute. There are plenty of twin rooms for people to not have to share, share a, a bed, bed unless you want to share. A Absolutely. Bed. So if that's the case, yes. then contact us and we can give you yeah um, a separate price for that. We didn't want to complicate it because it's. There's quite a few options because we've had to put them, you book in a single room or um, your double room on a ground floor or on a first floor. So there's two options there. So we didn't want to overwhelm people with too many options. No. So if there's something you think we haven't thought of, for heaven's sake, yep. please email us and let us know. But please read the terms and conditions of the booking because the deposit that we've asked for, which is 50%, is non-refundable. Um, so make sure that you've, made yourself aware of everything yeah but we are so excited but, they are, but the bedrooms are a beautiful standard so we've obviously been a couple of times two or three times to um speak to sean who owns it and runs it he's the chef there yeah he's been brilliant um and we've said you know can we come in and just take a picture can we and we've told him we might go up and do a podcast there yes. before yeah. um we go just so you can all see um and every time we've Kind of put them on the spot and said, "Oh, can we just have a look at?" Very accommodating. They've been but fantastic. But you commented last time how immaculate everything oh, is. Oh, honestly, it the, everywhere is so yeah. clean, so tidy. Yes, it's beautiful. I Even mean, when you've not got people staying yeah. in rooms last yeah. time, the rooms we are ready to go. Yeah, with they all they your bathrobes laid out, your little slippers. Yes, and oh, I think there was some homemade homemade cookies. cookies. Yes, Dominic was impressed because there was little gingerbread men. But they were in the cots. Yeah, they're for a little person. Yeah, I wanted them. But anyway, so we think it is going to be. It, it will be. It's a, a luxury treat. Yeah, that's how we're looking at it. 
but you are free to come and go as you know you are so close to Lincoln it's a beautiful city if you yeah. want an afternoon trip to yeah. Lincoln feel free yeah um it's just off the A15, which is a main route, so it's easy to get to by car. Yes, you and don't then, have to come into the centre of Lincoln to get no, to it. But then, um, or you can get a train into Lincoln or Gainsborough, um, and then... Yeah, uh, so, so motorway access is, um, you'd come off the, you know, the nearest is the M180, yeah. isn't it? So it's, it's a very from the north. If you're coming from the north. It's a very good, yeah, the other way, you'd have to come A1, I yeah. suppose. Um, but it's... We've put links to Hemsworth Court so you can go on and have a look at that. So we're so excited. Oh. So our brain. So we had the shed being delivered and put oh. up as we launched the So um, I apologise to anybody who's been... I, there was a lady who I forgot to send a pattern to. I'm so sorry. It's no excuse, but my head has been shed. So yeah. we apologise if we've missed anything or we've forgotten something. It's just everything has all happened all, all at, at the once. same time. And it just all, all end of year, to, end of tax year, yeah. so we had all that. It's just all Being come funny. together. Yeah. So yes, February the thirteenth will go down as a very good day. Yeah, we had a really good day. Yesterday. Yeah. Um, and the so, rain held off. It was lovely, it, wasn't it? Yeah, it yeah, was. Perfect. So there'll be, you know, we'll keep you updated. There'll be we're still like ideas of what we're gonna do, what's gonna be available, but So there will be things to do. We will provide you with things yes. to do on the weekend that will be free. Yeah. Um so as we said, once you've paid for it, that's it. Um Sarah is um a beautiful crocheter she's um very kindly offered to kind of do a bit of a informal really surgery you know yeah. if you've got a problem with a crochet pattern or or you want to learn yeah you know we could one of the tables probably will be sitting and learning making granny squares um we are looking at um becky um one of our good friends um, she's involved with mentioned it before yes. baby's basket yes um so we would like to do something um, around that charity. around that charity as well um so but we, it you know it's evolving. it's evolving so there'll be lots of things but but the, the rooms little, are limited the rooms are limited so if you are as interested as much as you like yes um, you know, you need so to, it went live to subscribers yesterday and they've started yeah they've already booking started rooms, booking rooms which is fantastic so. and obviously you get to you're going to get to see this first and then because we're doing this friday morning so hopefully this will be live friday afternoon or early and evening, then we'll put it out on social and media. then we'll put it out on social yeah. media tomorrow so or later today no we i think we let think, the yeah i think okay. we let our podcast viewers okay we did say we've yeah. got something else this afternoon to put out yeah have we yeah um goldfish head I have but, no idea but what she's talking about. We've said the subscribers who follow the newsletter, they get first dibs. Who follow us on Can I YouTube? just say, golden ticket. Oh, yes. Last year, yes. we put inside of one of our ball bands, yes. which I think we're going to do again this year. We will do. I put that out there, put her on the spot. Yeah, we're going we to do it do. again this year. We put a £50 worth. £50 voucher. Inside... One of the ball bands. No one's claimed it yet. Nobody has claimed it. So, ladies, gentlemen, please. Check your ball bands. Check your ball bands. Sounds like some sort of... Um, it was... Excuse me for just... It sounded there like some sort of health warning for um, testicular cancer there. I'm just going to take that <gasps> off. So, ball band. That's it was ball on band. the inside. On the inside. So, you need to... Take it off. Take it off. Inspect. Hello, hello. Is it in there? No. One of you is sat. One of you sat on fifty pounds worth of wool is the answer. Fifty pounds of wool is the answer. I mean, come on. So look what you've done now. I know. Well, I have to, I have to squeeze my ball. It's all right. Gone back in. So we've got. So we've spent twenty five minutes just being giddy and excited and sharing the love with yourself. <sighs> what have you been knitting? What have I been knitting? Oh, all right. right. Let's go. I'm going to do a swap. Right, so I've been doing a new pattern as we talked about. So this is my cowl. Oh, yes. I mean, look, it's still in prototype. So that that looks so much nicer. So this is the little cowl that we're going to do as yes. a set for the shows. So I mean, you can. I really like that. So there. I mean, I think it looks better with all these bits yeah. on. I mean, I mean, let's just show yeah. it round. Now so, no one would know. So I've done a bit on the top and a bit on the bottom. I mean. But I think it looks better folded in. Well, it does on my little chicken neck. And anyway. I prefer it when you can see it, but 
but you just get a pop of colour, don't you? Yes. So hopefully this is going to be a cowl with a hat with a pompy pom pom pom. So I just need to now get on with my hat, and I don't know it whether it is really nice. Don't know whether we're going to have a bit of this on the hat, or whether it's just going to be the rib. I don't want it to look too much. No. So um, and, and oh, we spoke a couple of briefly colours. about couple just of, marling. You yeah. know, holding uh, the pink and the yeah, because the hat to me needs to be um, thicker than the double knit. This is done in double knit with minis. The hat to me needs to be like yeah. held double. So um, I mean. I mean, we're just going to give you a bit of an idea here, aren't we? So, you know, not that it'll look like that, but... So you'll have a matching-ish hat and cow set. So it won't be matchy-matchy, but they'll be the same colours. It'll be a brother and a sister. Yes. Yeah. That, But that looks really nice. I'm pleased nice. with that. That's some dice. Yeah. So we will have that... Um, we were just talking about different ways to display it. Yeah. Sure. So we'll, we're going to have them... Dotted on the top of our boxes. And if we really Somehow, struggle, if we really struggle, I'll then be wearing it. And I was going to say, on. well, your dad will be wearing yeah. them. So you'll have a the kit. Hopefully, will have your pom pom, your cowl, wool, and and the, the hat. hat. Wool. Just yes. need to work out quantities. Yeah. So that's my um. That's one of the things I've been on. I mean, shall we do one each? One each. Okay. One each. One each. I've got this. Um, Beautiful. I can't remember. Rolled cow. Oh, yes. oh, Wendy's been, she's also done us a another oh, pattern, yes. but we're not going to show you that yet. No. Um, that she's been working on, which is a one ball wonder. So it's a it's a shawl made out of one, one oh, ball. No. So it's more, you know, it's quite a good price. Yes. Um, we've got lots of irons in fires at the minute. I, I'm not going to show you that one. Because like it's only little, but it's full of stuff. But I'm going to show to you. Explode. I'm going to show you. So let me remind you I, all. Have you shown people your bag? Have we ever shown people that bag? This one. No, that one. We are, haven't we? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we have. Just ignore me. Um. So not only have we got the bold crochet cowl along in Ravelry, there'll be a giveaway. There'll the be a it. giveaway. Yeah. So we're running God, it. You're generous today, aren't we're you? Running it I'm until giving the... away fifty pounds in, in and I'm ball giving bags. Away. You're giving away. We're running it till the thirty first of March. So you've got plenty of time to either buy the pattern and use your own wool or buy the kit. Um because it's quite a quick crochet. Um I really like it. I really like it's it. It's just a nice thickness. But as well as that on our Ravelry thread which it's been so nice to see people getting involved, is yes. the Stash Busting oh, 2020. Yes. You're going to do thread. yours and I can do mine. So um, we're just trying to encourage each other and everyone out there, because we've all got Stash, I'm sure we have, just to use it. Have we? You've got Stash. So, but can I, let me show you what I've been doing. Oh. Stash can be anything. Oh. Oh. <gasps> I've made oh, myself a nice. project bag. I mean, nice. I mean, it's even got a gusset. It's a gusseted. We like a gusset. Like, oh, I like that. That would make a nice oh. skirt. Well, I've got so much fabric. Look at that. I mean, I mean it's properly lined and properly lined, and properly lined and everything. Properly gusseted. Do you know so how to make a? Look at that. I mean, so I that look like a chef. You look like something. I look like a little chef. So that was the prototype, and that would be good for socks or a very small project. Yes. <gasps> look but at how fair she's getting. At <gasps> this. Look at that bad boy. Look at this. Dominique. I mean, it's even got a little bit of. Well, that was that was the fabric that. <gasps> because you I can't... needed my new. I mean, look at that. Do you know what? My bedroom, I had some, my bedroom in the 1970s had wallpaper I've like had that. that. I've had that fabric for I don't know how long. That is gorgeous, 70s. I mean, it is massive. But in it. I could live in there. It is holding. I mean, it's a stash buster. It feels like felt, but it's not felt, is it? No, it's like, um, oh, well, that's got a, oh, no, it's not. That's just a. It's it like. like it's like wool. It's like wool. It is wool. It, no, it's not like wool. It is wool. But in oh, it... Oh, I, I can't get over how nice this looks. In it has got my stash busting. I mean, this colour is... I can't get over how... Some of those colours are really quite bright, aren't yes. they? Yes. But then you've put it with the silver. 
I can't get over how it's, it, it's merged it. Honestly. Do you know I, what, Dominique? Well, I have seen people wearing... Blankets. Well, they've done like a corner to corner and, oh, and done it as a big it. shawl. I can't... It oh, feels, honestly, it's so... I, I mean, what we need, like, touchy vision. Maybe not with that. Maybe not what we need. That's not what I should have said. I mean, that was. I, mean, I should weigh it now. I mean, I mean, we do. Clearly, there's still a lot. To look at the colours in that. But, but just adding that colour. I mean, look how vibrant that is. But adding that silver I just mean, really knocks it I'm back. Just, I'm going proper oh, stash busting because going proper, we've had this. We've well, had this. We bought that yonks ago, didn't we? We got a knitting machine, didn't we? What? No. This wasn't for the knitting machine. Well, we were never going to use it as anything else, no. though, were we? But I mean, it's got dye all over it, and but I thought we were go we were going to use this for making. We were going to make it into hundred grams and dye it. No, we weren't. We were going to do. We were going to make bunting or something from this because this isn't. This isn't. No, but when we ordered it, we thought it was. No, no. Yeah, it wasn't what it's we thought when nice. we ordered it. But when you, I, I mean, mean, because I'd already used so much of our silver, and I thought. That, this is stash busting, so I can't get over how honestly soft and beautiful. So, so look together. how look it knocks it back. Yeah, it magic. So that is. I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna keep going. And, it's just beautiful. Uh, uh, so I needed a big bag because it's obviously gonna get bigger. It does properly bounce the ball. Properly bounce. So I mean that doesn't feel like it's. Going, but it is because when I first did it, That's it was amazing. like proper two handed. There was 180. It's like a cricket ball. Grams. I'll weigh this and. Do you like to weigh it now? Well, let me weigh it now. In the, just in the, in you. the bottom of the thing. But so, I, I can't get over how much it's changed the look of it. So magic, as if by magic. As if by magic. We so have a I, set of scales. I need to um, I need to put my stash busting project bags on there. Oh, not to zero there. Oh. 132. So I've used 50 grams already. But you'd never think there was 132 grams there. No. But there is. There is. Oh, well, that, that's quite satisfying, that actually. So. Fancy ball. I've made that and then I've finished. Oh, I've finished the. Um, Three colour cashmere cowl that I showed a couple of episodes ago. Yes. So I've got some more yarn from that. I've got some that you can have because we have oh. my advent calendars that I've said you can have. So you can have those. You can have those little stashes. And, hang on, let me just check. Oh, I have. I've got another. I've got something else that I've finished that I can show you. So I've got more leftovers from that. So perfect. I'm well, just going to keep making a magic balls. This is my um, uh, so. Stash busting, Stash busting 2020. Show mine. us yours. So this is mine. I'm showing you mine. Yes. So this is the um, Yarn Addict Annie um, shawl pattern pop of colour. And I'm using up all my stash. Yes. So this is grown. I've been really enjoying doing this pattern. You said that from the minute you cast yeah, it on. I've you really, really enjoyed, enjoyed it. it. And it's been one where I've like wanted, oh, I want to get on with it. So I mean, it because blocking. of the pattern, because you keep changing colours. Yeah, or... all of it. I like to keep a different. I like a bit of change. I get yeah. a bit bored if it's like all the same. So it's got lots of different textures in. Then we've got some lace, different Ooh. colours. Ooh. I put the red in. We weren't sure. I I like it because well, again the purple's just toned it down. And then I'm on the last bit. I'm nearly finished. You really are, haven't you? Yeah, so I'm now on the purple. But I mean, I can't wait to see it when it's... Oh, I have one, one. I mean, I don't know. Oh, I can see where it is. You, nobody else can. Right, I had a little bit of an issue. I dropped a stitch in the lace bit and I just thought, Whoa! <gasps> Stop. Knitting, how quickly did you realise? I was knitting in bed, watching telly. Not such good light. I was watching This Is Us. If any of you watched it on Amazon Prime. So I was crying. Because oh. it just makes you cry. I love it. I was yeah. like, Whoa! Whoa! Oh, autumns. Oh, pear. I've dropped the stitch, so I literally was like, I don't move, don't move. Because I had no crochet hook with me, oh, and I man. thought, any minute, and it was there. I mean, you can hardly see it. It was there, right in the middle. Oh, you and can't I thought, see it at all, oh, can you? Oh. So I like slowly got out of bed, got my cro went, got downstairs and got a crochet hook, and like picked it up, and then somehow. 
I don't think I've done a bad job of oh, well, I can't morphing see it. that. You can't see it. So, but for one minute, I thought I'm going to end up having to go all the way back. So it's all because with lace, if you don't oh, pick it up, it just grows, yeah. and then you can't. I can't work out no how well, to get I definitely your, can't. your holes. So I was quite proud of myself there, but also like we've said before, if they're that close, nobody's. And, Nobody, well, maybe some people are, but most people are not perfect. And they're just little pattern embellishments. They, um, so, so I am that. It, so how much have you got left to do? I've got um, two more rows. So I've got in, in the purple rain, yeah. the same bit there, then another one of the um, light purple. Yeah. And then just an edging. So I'm nearly done. And how many stitches are you up to? I'm not counting. Yeah, yeah, a lot. But it is what a great and, stash buster. And for me, I'm knitting on four millimetre oh, yeah. needles on four ply, which I always find a bit. Ugh. And it's baggy. And it's baggy, which I, I'm not normally. normally liking. But I tell you what, it needed to be on that size needles, obviously, for the lace and stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be huge, but. So Anakin's done a good job of that. Anakin's done a really good job and I've really enjoyed it and it's kept my attention going. I've loved it. And they have been. And I've liked the lace. I never thought I yeah. would like the lace. I've really enjoyed Because I did buy, when we were at um, Cardiff. The Knit Tea Retreat. Knit Tea Retreat. Um, I bought one of Anakin's jumper patterns, which is all oh, Yeah, it is. Um, and I think it is knit in lace weight. I think I might do it in four ply. Yeah. Um, and when I got the pattern, I thought, I want to do this because I want to challenge myself. And it did look beautiful. It, she had it in a pink and she was wearing it with really it pretty was, jumper. It did look really nice um, on her. And I just thought, oh, I'll never ever be able to get around to that. But you're going to. Well, like, who knows when. Yeah. But it, I'm not looking at it now and thinking, can't do that. I can't do that. I can do it. Well, you see, I did that band that was about that deep. Oh, I don't know how many rows. About 20 rows of lace on that three colour cashmere cowl. That was my limit. And then... Um, do you want, what else have you got on? Oh. Well, I've got... Let me show you what I'd finished. Ooh. This is what I'd got the colours from. I'd just like to say, I'm hungry. I'm hungry as well. I'm starving. All I'm My missus thinking, moved back. Do you know what I'm sat thinking? What, what else Dominique who doesn't eat meat? You want a bacon sandwich? <laughs> bacon sandwich! Oh, look what's finished! Oh, wow! So, at the end of the last podcast, because I put little progress It's so delicate, cut, doesn't it? It does. I was there. So, I've done from my finger to Marie's finger in two weeks and do, blocked it. Do you know what this shows me? I mean, the four ply. Blocking. So, my... Right, can you see... Sorry. Can you see... This was one colour grey, and then we've gone into a slightly different... I don't care. No, it looks nice. I mean, look it's how hand long dye, it don't is. Hand dye. Do you know what... But they, it does show you if you're going to use two balls, alternate them. But I was using up scraps. No, I don't think you don't. I think it just looks like a different, Honest, different bit. I, again, I, I was on my hands and knees on Saturday like blocking this with wires. And it took me quite a long time. But it's so worth it. But look at the texture of that. So it's the same one that I've just shown you in my shawl. Yes. It, this It, it just shows it just, that, depending on what stitch you do and pattern, how different the wool looks, doesn't it? And when I'd finished it, it was clearly a lot smaller. That is absolutely stunning. It was obviously not as big. I mean, I wouldn't say they're your colours. I mean, other than that, what was I thinking? Purple. But it's absolutely look beautiful. At, just like, look at the drape. It's drapey and beautiful and... and I love it. So... I mean, it's so big, look, we could both wear this. Honestly, I, I cannot tell you. We could be like co-joined twins, couldn't we? I, I can't mean, tell you. I, I'm probably a bit close for her here, but... And I can cope with this for a short time. Oh, look. I yeah, can't. It's beautiful. Obviously, I've got the ends to weave in, but, you know. Look at you, go. Uh, let me tell you, I have enjoyed this so much. I'm going to cast another one on. That's and really pretty. I might even cast it on. That's maybe not the best way to show it off, but I yeah. don't care. Um, Looks nice. It might even be like a, I might start doing it now as a Christmas present or something. That is beautiful. Because who wouldn't want to receive? Who indeed wouldn't want to receive that? That is just, honestly, um, I let me tell you, when I cast this on, I'm thinking it was about 2018 and it just got sidelined and I don't know why. It's beautiful. I mean, we don't even do that purple anymore. That's how no. old it is. 
But stash busting, stash busting, ladies, gentlemen, this is the way forward. This I've not followed the pattern in as much as people that come on, get your stash out. What it can shouldn't you make? be as much. There shouldn't be as much colour. But obviously, I ran out of the grey, so really I just like went it. back to the colours. I like that though. I like the fact it's got that colour on yes, it. It should have colour really both nice. ends, but not as much. But I, I kind of. It's a nice. I don't know if I put the pattern. It's just another way of showing you. You know, the pattern's there as a bit of a oh, guide. I see. It's, so. Yeah, it's only. A it's stash. only a tiny corner, and there's I not like as your, much there. I like your version better, if I think so. That is really nice. But just. So, that is the colourful geometry. I have loved it so much. I nice. think I'm going to cast another one on, and it's going to be a bit of a pick it because it's a 14 row repeat to do a it's nice to do a triangles. Um, triangle, and you think, well, let me just get to halfway. It's really pretty. It doesn't take that long, and then I think, oh, I'll just finish that row. So you know, like you were saying about changing colour. Yeah, really nice. You don't get bored because you think, let me just get yeah. this triangle yeah. done. Well, <gasps> so. So all these oddments, really that's good. ready to be magic ball. Right, so I, love it. I needed to get on with this. Oh, yes. Because Kath of um, Wensleydale oh. Longwall Shop. She called you out on social media, she? did she? call me out on social well media. Well done, Kath. And said that she expected me to see this, which is the barrel cardigan in the... I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, it is beautiful. That, that light does not do that colour no, justice. No, it doesn't. It's a... It, Mm. It, it's, a, it's a beautiful, it's be vibrant can, can you see, thing. you probably can't see in there, can you see where I stopped? And my tension's obviously changed, hasn't it? Oh, it has slightly. Yeah, there's a slight line. You won't notice it when you're oh, talking. Yeah. Car, I've done a bit. Come on. Well, no, but you've done... I've done over done more than... I've done more than 50. 100%. I've done 100% of what was there. You've done more than 100% of what was there. I've done... Because your line's about there. I've done 200%. Oh. But... but it's on in the back. Yeah. And you want me to be wearing this for Buxton? That's three months away. What busy. I mean, it might end Well, not up... anymore. I mean, now we... You we're... haven't said... She didn't say... Buxton 2020. No, no. I expect to see you wearing it. You didn't say in what format, did you? Ha <laughs> ha! I mean, it could be... I mean, when we saw it... It could be a gilet without sleeves. It could just be a back. Could be a back and one front. I am trying. The good thing is because it's moss stitch, it's been perfect at knit and natter. Doing the lace at knit and natter. Yeah. No. You see, and no, I struggle no, with no, moss stitch. No, no. uh, when I saw um, Marion, it was Marion that got yeah. it. Marion was wearing it. was beautiful. And they were all trying to say, do it, do it. And when, could look when, you, when you hate pull moss it stitch. and you block it. Oh, it's, it's going to be beautiful. I just. I would. I know I would lose the one to live. I'm not losing the one to live, I'm just trying no, to No, but that's time. what I'm saying for me, I know. But the ball is absolutely uh, it is stunning. You can't see it. It's, it's, got, it's got like I'm not a, it. It's got like a luminous shine to it. Oh, look at that, you can see the sheet. It's beautiful. Your ball is beautiful. It is stunning. I've got to say. Oh, In yeah. Fact, be nice to. It like, is. I'm gonna. Well, I'm, I'm gonna be cheeky. It's Aaron. I'm gonna be cheeky. It'd be nice to dye some of your yarn because it is so beautiful. I love the colour of it. Yeah, it is. It we is need to have sheen. a trip there, don't we? Yeah, we do. We need to have a trip we, to Leyburn. We have said this two yeah. or three times. We need to go and have a trip and just come and annoy you. Just life and nice, work it? gets in the way. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Hello. Are you waiting for an invite? No, you know I never wait for invites. No. I just turn up. I mean, so how far are you from Durham? I'm there in a fortnight. Not that far. Yeah. But I'm with two non-knitting friends, so... Yeah, that's not going to happen, is it? No. We might just have to go and have a trip and see my dad and yeah. go just on a detour. I don't know when, but... April, maybe. We need, like, longer weekends, don't we? I don't need to work. That's exactly what you don't need to do. I you need... didn't work. We, you know, this would this would happen a lot quicker, it... wouldn't it? Yeah. You need to get a grip. How's your tech editing course going? Oh! Well, but you see, I, I really do keep picking it up and putting it down at the minute because, like we've said, we've had so much on. Um, just talking of Kath and Wensley Dale, what long did you see that message on Instagram? Someone contacted me and said, I'm a friend of 
Cats or Marion's and they say you're doing a tech editing course. I never saw this. Oh. Must have come to you, did it? No, it came as a DM and I replied, gave her my email and then she's not emailed me, but I've seen it. She's emailed me yesterday. Right. But of course, we were out last night, so I will pick it up, Helen. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what it is she's contacted me about, but... Mm. Um, so what else have you got? Because I've got another sort of half stash bush, half new. How many more have you got? Um, I've got um, two different things to show you. Well, I've only got one, so you go with your with one of well, your two. Well, I, I think I've shown you this before. Have we? I can't remember if we've talked about this. Yes. We've... Yeah, so just a quickie on this one. So I haven't got any further. This is going to be... A, um, oh, well, if we're doing that, I'll do this, this one is, as well. Um, this is Harvesting the Walls that I'm knitting in red um, that will be... Um, another colourway for the show, but I haven't got very far. But I just thought I'd show you that because I'm still working on it. So I just to show you, you see, calf. I've got was... so much on. I mean, come on. You've just said you've not done anything on that. Yeah, because it, it's there though, looking at me. So that, I'm just justifying why I've got so much on. You know, if I get that finished by, if I get that finished by Buxton, I'm sorry, I was smelling the lavender. <laughs> Bloody miracle. That has to be finished by book. In fact, in fact, I even contributed yesterday, didn't getting I? Getting that lady getting to somebody it. to knit it. But I won't. I'll do it myself. Th there'd be no satisfaction. There would be there. no satisfaction. I mean, apart I from wearing it. But I absolutely would. Um, I might purchase some more wool and get the lady to knit me another one because I think I'm going in to a love, different I think I'm going to love it so much. Oh, yeah. Oh. I finished this in the middle of the row because I went wrong. I was doing this at knit and after doing that. I know. Well, that's because I've not done anything on this for the last fortnight. Yeah, but look how much you've done on this. I know. Stuff. Those colours are going to look stunning together. Well, they do look stunning together, but... I'm not feeling so it. So is this... Um... This is the Beach Waves uh, by yeah. Tracy Miller yeah. of The Grocery Girls. Now, I... The reason I bought it is because I... It's a nice when pattern. She, when she showed it... I'm not, I'm, I'm, I love it, but I think those holes would irritate me. I, honestly, I just think it looks Beautiful. stunning. That would irritate because I get my fingers stuck. Well, yeah, you maybe. But, but... I do love it. The colours together in balls, I absolutely love. Do you not like love. it? What, why, do I, why have I put it down? Well, that, that, that's the thing, isn't it? If you're not feeling it, it's either the colours are wrong or the pattern's wrong. But not the pattern's wrong. I mean, it's yeah. not right for. But when I look. when I put them together, yeah, I, love I them. was like, oh. Well, why don't you do another one of those in that? Stunning. I, I, so I've stalled. And do it instead of instead of like having a big block of grey, just like combine yeah. different rows in but, it. I love the colours together, and, and I, I think, like the pattern. I think it's because I don't like the colours as much. Which is weird. because they are my yeah. colours. What I don't, I think it's what I don't like. I don't like that bit. I see, I love those two colours yes. together. But again, we've said this before, haven't we? With Nike, Dominique and I have completely but, uh, different contrasts. They are my colours. You know, the olive, I do so much in olive. It's in here. Is it? The petrol was in that three colour cashmere yeah, pal because yeah. I love it. And the grey. I don't know what, I don't know what it is about this. And You're I, not feeling it. I what can't rip say? it out just yet. Right. Just live with it a bit, and then but it's I've got hair had on me now. two weeks. So I tried to do this at Knit and Natter the other week. Oh, that's challenging. Yeah, but it shouldn't be. It's not difficult, and that's why I finished. So, but I, I've got no, I've got no motivation to, to like fit, take that row out. Yeah. Put it on then, yeah. think about it. Yeah. Well, as soon as gone I, and everything. As soon as I cast this off, I was like, I want to do another one. So, have we talked since we went to see Emma Bridgewater? No. Oh. Went to, went, it was a birthday present because it was my 50th last year in March. <laughs> last March. So that means I'm 51 this year. I mean, flip it. Right, I'm sorry. I've got a, a hair that's attached to my glasses and in my face. Right, I'm there. Right. Um, we went to, uh, I got a voucher to go and do the um, studio tour and paint. Um, we went last oh, Thursday. Oh, last Thursday, yeah. It was really good. Well, it wasn't what I was expecting. Was it what you were expecting? No, I was so surprised. Everything. Everything's when they say hand. it's handmade, everything. Even down to the little sponge that makes that. There's somebody who sits yes. and, and makes a sponge well, out they, of a pulse response. They make the, someone draws the picture. Emma? No, 
Emma draws a picture. Not, she's got a team. All right, but but they're her designs, aren't they? Yeah. So they have the design. I mean, these are obviously. But so if someone draws a heart onto some acetate stuff, so on a piece of paper, yeah. then onto acetate, then onto a sponge, which is a pastry sponge, and then somebody sits with one of those big, you know, those magnifying Magnifying. Nerve. With a soldering iron and like melts the spit. And then cuts. So. I couldn't believe they were doing that. I thought. I honestly thought it was done by like laser cutting. But cutting obviously. Or by hand. One, two, three, four. There's five different colours on there. So they've, and they've five got sponges. five sponges. The sponges only last two weeks. So there's a team of three people. I thought it would have been more. Um, machine. Yes, or even. Yeah, I thought the yes. sponges would have been. But they were handmade, but I thought they would have been done by a. So all the mugs are done by. For want of a better word, liquid clay. Yes. So there's a mould and they pour the liquid clay in. Which that blew my mind. And then, but even that, I expected the mould all to be on a conveyor and belt. Go, chuk, chuk, chuk. Like you're chuk, watching. Chuk, chuk. Yeah. Yeah, like when they do make biscuits make, when inside the factory. Mince pies inside the cases. No, it's a big hose and then. Somebody the, does it individually. Yeah, they get the hose and move and then the next individually one. takes them out. It was it, it was so really worth doing. So I expected it to be handmade, but some of it mechanicalized. Yeah. No, that's not a real word, but <laughs> mechanicalized. <laughs> what is the word? <laughs> <coughs> what the word? <laughs> no mechanical. But what is the word? You, I, th I expect something to be done by machines. <laughs> I don't know no. knows what I'm saying. <laughs> Mechanised! Mechanised! Oh, I think I expect... I'm just going to carry on. I like that. No. Numbers I can do, words not always. I expected some of it to be mm, <laughs> whatever, but done by machines. But it, every single thing. So when they come out of the mould, yes, they're all turned by hand, and the tops are done as well. They do the tops. I, it was uh, yeah, it was interesting. It was really interesting. Um, but we were being a bit sad. So you'd like walking around people with all the workstations, and we were going, "Ooh, look at how they've got their sink there for their workshop. Ooh, 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 look at those chairs that they've got." We were, everybody else is going, oh yeah, look at how this mug's made. And, and we were looking at were, that. Oh, but... don't think, look, sink's in the middle of the desk, what a good idea. Yeah, so we came away. So we've come away week. with some, then we had afternoon tea, which was lovely. Yeah. Um, and then we yeah, went the cafe's and did, really nice did some there. painting, didn't we? Yeah. So I made two little mugs. They didn't have any of the half pint no. mugs, which is maybe a good thing because we've both got yeah. millions. So I went two little mugs so it will fit in a um, flat white. And I oh, went, gosh, yeah. my stomach's rumbling. Mine's not far. Um, and I went for a plate. Yeah. So we had a good time, didn't so we? So they've not come back yet, have they? No. But, two um, weeks, they said. Oh, I mean. So when they come back, we'll show you what we made. You will think that, like, well, small certainly with mine, of, yeah. Small children have Small made children have been given paint and. But. Um, it was it, funny because you got your little palette and you had to go over and get your paint. So I chose my colours I wanted. Dominique just went and filled the whole lot with lots well, of different colours. I knew paint. I wanted it colourful, so I thought, well. I might as well have it all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it was, um, yeah, yeah I really it was, enjoyed that. It was really good fun. Yeah. So, um, what were we on about before? I don't know, showing oh. things, but so you think we got This is what, right. so I'm, I'm using up stash, and when, this is old stash. We don't, um, this was a silk blend we did, yonks and yonks ago. Yeah. And it's only got a bit of it left, I don't know, why, 80, 80 odd grams on yeah. it. And that's the colours. So it's sort and of, again, that's got a beautiful sheen. Yeah, probably you can see it better there. Master it's greens and um, browns and fawns. So this that's is fawn, not phone. Fawn. Are you taking the mic out, Maya? I'm just trying to translate. <gasps> How rude! How <laughs> very rude! Translate. If you're not careful, I'll start saying kooka. Yeah. And 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 book and book and kook instead of cook. It's weird. I do come from um, Bishop Arthur and Adrian, but I, yeah, but I would say plaster. Yes. Why do I say that? I don't know. Plaster and master. How do you say bath? Bath. So it's a mix, isn't it? I, who knows where my accent comes from. Um, so this is um, one of our new bases. Oh. 
and it's in its neck. Oh, it's we've not got there. the colours. We've not no, got well, the new colour. Well, it, we, we haven't got it yet, have we? Because we no, don't know. But it so we are, we're not launching it yet. But it was exciting. Um, so um, this is it in its naked colour. So it's um, a yak blend. I hate that term. Just because so, I think we use the word yak as yak. Yeah. It? So it's lovely and soft. So that's in its naked state. And it's got a really nice twist. So I'm going to put twist. that with that. So twist. And then I'm also going naked Donegal. Because I love this. I love the Donegal. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I I'm like the Donegal, the, but not naked. Like yeah, I'm going to put I those mean, colours together. That does look beautiful. Um, and for to go with my brown coat. That you that didn't we, mention a yeah. few podcasts ago. Because since my hair, since I've started letting my hair go au naturel, as in grey, silver, silver, sparkly, sparkly, Stellina, as yes. somebody said, I like that. And I am liking it. I mean, look, you can see I've got quite a patch there. I'm quite happy with it. Um, I haven't got that orangey tone in it, which I would hate. I never used to wear mustard because I used to hate it. But you can wear it now. Oh, yeah. It's weird, isn't it? But you do your skin tone and yeah, hair my skin tone. Yeah. So this has got sort of like mustardy colours in it. So I'm going very to try, muted. Very muted to go with my coat. Who I knows? think it's and what pattern are you doing? I don't know. Well, I was fancying the beach days one. Yeah. But I'm not feeling the whole like the Well then just do the girl to stitch. Just don't so do that roll. I might do that. Or I did find another one on Ravelry that was like a lace pattern, but in the in the chevrons and stripes. Oh right! I don't know. So um, that is, but that would be easy to change. You just do garter yeah. stitch instead of the whole. So holes. when when I've finished my anarchy pop one, of colour, when I've knit my hat, when I've continued on with my harvesting the wolves, and when I'm doing my barrel jacket, of course, because yeah. I've got to do that because I've been told off. Or it might get cast on tomorrow. Yes! <laughs> That's exactly, you knew where I was coming. Yeah. I am resisting, and now look how good I you was. You have had that for a week. Look how good I was. I've even put bands on that don't relate to it, just to keep it tidy. That's just, rem I don't know what's made me just pop into my head, because I said... Is it lack of food? Because I think the lack of food's come into my You've head. had it for a week, because then I remember you going in and taking it. So... Yesterday, or the day before, in the stock room, which is my spare room, I thought, bearing in mind... Am I getting accused of something? Here? No, you're not at mm. all. Bearing in mind, there is um, all the work's going in, so there's, it's a laminate floor, there's mud everywhere, and I thought, oh, there's a... Hang on! There's a bit of Hang mud. Hang on! Who did the mud? Oh, no! And yeah. that, but you never do mud. But... So I thought, oh, there's a bit of mud there. A anyway, lot of mud there. when I went in today, the mud had moved, and it was now on the side of one of the buckets that got wool in it. It was a bleepy bleep moth. <gasps> so it wasn't a bit of mud. How big was it? Was I nearly it thought. Big? I did think the other day that's a moth, and I thought, don't be ridiculous. It's February. It's a bit of mud. I wasn't brave enough to go and check, but I thought, have you quarantined the area? Do I need to deal with it? So. Oh, here we go. This morning... You've got an equipment now for dealing with it. So, this morning I went to get the equipment, and I plugged it in. But it's on the side of a bucket, which is an odd shape, and the equipment wouldn't get it. So then I tried hairspray. I wished I'd seen this. So then I tried hairspray, and then I thought, well, I'm just going to shut the door, and then Maria will have to deal with it. And then I thought, it's a moth, and I can't leave a moth in with wool. I think yeah, it's a it's different not, moth, it's isn't not, it? It's but not a... It's, it, you're on about, like, a, a moth moth. Butterfly moth. That's not the same thing. I that, thought that, yeah. but then I thought... Yeah, no, it's fine. But, so then I thought, like, this is ridiculous. Get a, It was it a is. baby one, like, right. so it was only, like, that big. So... With the wingspan, like, that big. Very brave. I opened the door again, and then I went through and opened the back door, and then I took out what was in the bucket. Hello, were you going... <laughs> Tell not me quite, you but nearly. I was ready to. Took what was in the bucket out... And then <laughs> held the bucket like this, but I had to be careful not to knock it on anything. And then threw it outside and shut the door. And so all the buckets are outside. But I was. It's February. Well done. It's well done. If you, I have you to start, you a little bit. If I good. have to start dealing with moths in February, 
What is this weather doing? Oh. Anyway, so the thing worked. All oh, the buckets are outside. But it didn't work because it was just a... But was it because you were going like that with it? Probably. Instead of going... cha chum But because it's... It's a rounded edge. <laughs> well, I started doing that, and then I went back to hairspray, and then I thought, well, I can't now use the zapper because Don't, and, and people, flammable. Do not spray hairspray and then no. use the electric zapper. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. So, honestly, I was so brave today. That was first well, thing this morning. Done. That's why I've not had any breakfast. Because well done, because then you were traumatised. A moth in February. Was it alive? Well, it must have been, because it's moved from the floor onto the bucket. Was it moving though? No, but it was daytime. They don't move during the day. It's moved at night. So, where's it come from? That door's come been... from outside because the door was open quite a lot yesterday, wasn't it? And it's obviously thought, no, it's been there a couple of days on the floor. Oh, that's it. I think it's dead and maybe it's just transferred. What? Got sucked <laughs> up onto the bucket somehow. Yeah. Yeah. But it's dead now. Like the wind's blown it and it's hit the bucket. It's dead now anyway. Dead. <laughs> I don't like killing things, but moths. I'm sorry. Spiders live. Moths die. Anyway, moving on to my next <gasps> new cast on. Look at that. I love those colours. That's nice. What are you so, making? It's a jumper. So it's Jump. a, it's a, a top neck. down jumper. <gasps> oh, I like that neck. Short row shaping in the back. What pattern's this? This is. Oh, I like it. I like it. Can you tell? I like her. I like it. Well, this is what happens when you have a huge long neck like mine, you see. This I is like a neck. The Mild Mania by Stephen West. That I've been wanting I to cast on. That. So it starts as a two by two rib, then you increase. The animals went in two by two. Hurrah. Yes. Hurrah. But then you increase and it becomes a three by three. Then you increase the it becomes a four by four, three by three, hurrah. and then you increase to a five by five. So, your so gets big, like your yeah, rib, so gets, your rib bigger. gets bigger as it goes out. Genie us, honestly, oh, and I then see, yes. I like that. You haven't. Look what, because I was printing. You did a Marie, didn't you? I was printing labels the other day. You did a Marie and printed on label paper. But also, it's black and white because the printer's been. So you can't, I don't know what I'm showing yeah, you. Yeah, we had a bit of printing gate, didn't we? The that's, machines were taking over. That's a drawn picture. Oh, you can't even see. Oh, even. It's the Stephen West Mild Mania. Um, that's the one where you've probably seen it. He, he's got his leggings in the same. Yeah. And yeah. I, ha I mean. Oh, I know. Um, well, I never. Who's done it? Either Jenny or Kim. I can't remember which Jenny, I think. Um, I watch... Um, is it in four ply? Fleece and Harmony, their podcast, and she's just done it, and it looks so lovely. So four ply held double. Four ply oh, that held looks really double. chunky and thick. I think it's the rib as well. When you ah, uh, so it doesn't actually come up high on your neck. It, no, it's it just lies, the way it, it is. It lies flat. I thought it was like a pull oh, neck style. No, it's just the style. Yeah. So when you there, you can see now when you pull it I'm out. I'm likey, how, likey. It just goes from a two by two, and it becomes a five by five rib. Oh, thank you. Um, so, what I was doing the other day, I didn't know what colours to do it in. So I've gone with our grey four. That looks really nice together with... And... Ooh, what's that? Drops Flora. Drops Flora? That sounds like some sort of chemical that you would use down the toilet. It does a little bit, but it's 65% more, 35% alpaca. Hmm. How long have you had it? Mm. About four days. Oh, you just purchased it? Yeah. You tinker. I purchased it via the online medium. Um, because... Oh, wool alpaca. It's really not that expensive. When I start projects like a sweater, I do start with the intention of finishing. And I really want to finish. Can I just say I hate that word? What? Intention. Sweater. Oh. <laughs> Sweater. That's what it's called. I hate the word. A sweater. garment. Jumper. Sweater. Yeah, Just, but okay. I don't know. Don't like um, it. That's what what nice I don't want color. to do is spend. I didn't want to do it all in our wool because it would be too expensive if I don't finish it. 
like that. But it is beautiful. That's really nice. That. I mean, I've used drops when I did so my mountain mist. How much does it take? Well, I can't really remember. I've ordered more than I need because I'm Yardage, not small. Yardage, main colour. 700 metres. 700 metres. So that's... Fat girl size. Will you not? Two of them. Two of them. But that's only for the main colour. And then... Oh, this is my stomach. I, I mean, this is. is ridiculous. Because you obviously hold it double. So... And he just does... And then 200 per this, 50 gram skeins. He would do this colour down to kind of here. And then everywhere else, it's Mixed. all stripes of yeah well um it was jenny uh, uh jennifer rather of fleece and harmony she's done this and then she's just done a band of stripes and then gone back to this at the bottom and i much preferred that so yeah. I, that's what i'm gonna that do really nice i like that um so and look i'm using my oh. Santa. No, it's not. It's my strawberries and oh, cream. What's sweet? I thought you said I'm so red and white. It's, oh, it's my strawberries and cream. Look, there. That's cute. Hang on. A bowl of strawberries and cream. That I got. Look at that. From Sarah for my birthday in the... Nice. Knit one, pearl one. Little tennis set. So, I cast that on. You can't finish that jumping before I finish Beryl. Well, I'll get bored of it because I'm already it. up to 100. I'll sabotage it and steal your wool. What am I up to? I'm up to 176 stitches and the next increase makes it 220. And then the next increase is like 300. So nice. I'll slow down. I like that. But what size needles is it on? 4.5. Four 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 uh, I'm pleased you said that because the pattern says needles. 4.5 five mil. Five mil circular needle or size to obtain gauge. And 4.5 circular needle or needle to. Oh. Ah. Hang on, I've just. Because I'm. <laughs> nowhere in the pattern does it tell you which needle to use. But at the very end, it says magic loom method is used for knitting neck and sleeve in the round. Oh, yeah. So. Wait a minute, wait. It, do, it tells US. you you need a 5 mil and a 4.5 mil. But nowhere in the pattern does it tell you what size. So I've cast on. With a 4.5, because you always cast on normally doing your rib with a smaller needle. Nowhere. See, there we go. Switch to a needle. Switch to a needle that is one size smaller than your current needle for a tighter rib border. So it is there. It's in the border. So you, so you start off on your bigger needles and then you go smaller. Well, tough titties I've started So off. this is, yeah, so all your... Little ribbon is done so, in, but that's right at the end all of the pattern. Of that pattern and all of that pattern, and then at the bottom it says oh, switch to a needle that no, switch to a needle that what's one size smaller, yeah, than the current needle. So that's why there's two needle sizes on well, it. Well, so you just didn't read that bit, but we'll forget no, about it. No, but why would you have to read to the end of the I know, your I pattern? agree. Yeah, it should be at the front. It should say. Using main colour, two strands of yarn yeah. held together, cast on 88 stitches in... It's like one of those tests, isn't it, where you go... It, the first line says, please read the instructions before you start the ah, test. But it, and nowhere through there does it say, please read all That's the way what I'm through. Saying. It's a test, isn't it? And then you get to the bottom line and it says, just sign your name at the bottom, don't answer any of the questions. But I'd, I'd accept that. If yeah. it says in the instructions, yeah. read this pattern before you start... Anyway, so I'm now doing it all in a 4.5, and I clearly should have been doing it in a 5. But what I'm going to do is, and I've seen this somewhere else as well, someone say, because I have nice boobies, when I get to the chest area, I'm going to go up a needle size anyway. Yeah. So continue, continue doing it in the size I'm doing, but go up a needle size to give me nice. some... It uh, says it's all customisable. Cust customizable. It doesn't show. It doesn't tell you how to customize it. But it just it just says sleeve cuff is customizable. How? I don't know. Like width, length. Ah, I don't know. Exactly. So hmm. I just think sometimes. Hmm. But anyway, I am. I don't know what it is recently with my new crochet blanket. I'm just loving nice. it's mild. I'm just loving holding two strands together. You see, when you go to the cuff bit, it does say there, 
break the yarn, got, use a needle that is one size smaller for a tighter cuff. So as you get to that bit, it tells you to change it. But I'm with you, it doesn't say right. But normally you would start... Right at the beginning on the yoke, using... Normally you would start, yeah. if you're doing ribbing, you would start with the smaller needle size, yes. wouldn't you? It would say. Anyway, I've gone with a 4.5. So, rightly or wrongly, that's what I've done. Nice. But yeah, um, I just thought, I've wanted to cast this sweater on for, jumper. For a long time. Jumper. Oh, I've not put the pattern away. But I've just nice. not got the right colours. Yeah, nice. And then all of a sudden I thought, I know what I want to do. Very so, nice. I mean, that's going to take me a long time now. But So, don't forget to check out our retreat. Yes. For the next couple of days, we will be inside a shed workshop. Yes. Trying to get it sorted out with yep. worktops, sinks. Putting it exactly where, where yep. we want it. The right height. The right height. The right place for the sinks to go. Because we're having two sinks, one for a tall person and one for a semi-tall person. Yeah. Um, so we, and then where we want the microwaves, where yep. we want the ovens. Cook ovens. Hobs, not ovens. Hobs. But, um, where we want the radio, because that's very important. Well, the radio is going to have to go in the middle near the hobs, isn't it? Well, this is another thing we learned at Bridge Water. We could have two stations, couldn't we? We're too you know, close, yeah. E pods in. Yes. So we could don't even have to speak to each other then, do we? You're over that side. And, and we need to decide who wants which side, don't we? Well, I think that's going to have to be rock, paper, scissors or something. I think it's going to have to be rock, paper, scissors. Because we're both going to want the window, aren't we? Unless, like, you want it so high that you encroach on the window space. Well, it's not how high, how. how Hi, hi. It is. How but high? we've bought the legs. Yes. And they are. Are they all come? They are really high. Well. So and then we can put work on top. So that is the height it's going to be. Yes. But so yeah, we'll have to do rock paper scissors. Yeah. To see who gets the side with the um the windows. The windows. Although when we were in it yesterday, it the other really side light. is not. And we've got a light inside anyway, haven't yeah. we? So whoever doesn't have the windows. It I light. don't think it's going to matter at all. I Whereas don't. where we are, you or either a have torch. a nice, a you either torch. have a nice long stretch of worktop, or you've got the burners in it, which is not as easy to work on. No. But whereas this, it's not yeah. going to make much no. difference, is so, it? Yeah. So we'll be doing a lot of that over the weekend. Yes, we will. Giggling, not giggling, getting giddy every time someone books. Yeah. A room because you're booking. Bing. Yes, um, so thank you. And, oh, I'm not wearing it now, but every time, because so, people keep ordering yeah. this, which is lovely. Yeah. So we've had lots of things going on. Yeah. Don't forget, if you've ordered one, come and join us on the crochet along. Exactly. So nice to see you all again. We're going to have, have a little bit to eat now. Yeah, I'm starving. Yes. Absolutely starving. Yeah, we have rambled, but yeah. we've been excited. And guess where we're off? We're off to the RQ. We seem well, to actually, live being cute we're not. Bit, aren't we? We're, first of all, we've just got to nip up to Hemsworth Court. Yes, yeah, and drop all of our monies. And booking fees, booking, uh, booking, booking fees forms and things. and things. But then we'll be able to tell Sean that yes. we've got rooms booked already. Yeah. And then and then being and then being Q to buy being Q stuff. Yeah. But to buy things that go for the workshop, so... Yeah, and my car just fits everything in perfectly wedged in. Yeah. I... Mine would get most in, but yours Mine's is longer, longer than mine, so yeah. we'd need patterns yeah. for the work tops and things. But <laughs> Woo! Anyway, right. So don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, like the channel, subscribe, like share, everything. share.